Welcome back to UTA News. I'm Candace Brown with your sports update. With the fall semester back in full swing, so are UTA club sports. The UTA men's club soccer team is back after taking a year-long break. The team is off to a rough start, losing its first three games to Rice, SMU, and their 5-3 loss to UTD this past Saturday. Head coach Harrison Stanley knows the team is young and is a work in progress. Majority of them are under, are like lower than juniors. Um, we started out. We had pra uh, tryouts, and two weeks before school started, week after, um, then one week after tryouts, we had a practice week. We had a game that Saturday. Um, so we're definitely trying to figure out what works best for us. This is a really learning um, semester for us. Harrison also knows that there is one key to his team obtaining their first victory of the season. The team's next game is scheduled for 5 p.m. Sunday in Fort Worth to take on the TCU Horned Frogs. For more information on UTA Club Sports, check out their Facebook page. The Mavs Volleyball team hosted the UT Arlington Hilton Invitation this weekend. Chris Mead has the story. Their first conference game is this Thursday in Texas Hall. For a full schedule, it can be found at utamavs.com. One team here at UTA has been ranked nationally top for the top three in the last six years. Practice is supposed to make you better, but who you practice against makes the difference. The Moving Mavs are getting ready for their season by playing against the three-time defending national wheelchair basketball champs. Every Wednesday, they scrimmage on UTA's campus against the Dallas Wheelchair Mavericks. Two of the Dallas Mavs currently play for the U.S. Olympic team, and seven are moving Mavs alumni. For three hours, both teams compete, helping each other improve on their game. Coach Garner has seen plenty benefit come from the scrimmages, as the moving Mavs are the third-ranked team in the U.S. The one benefit is they're able to help our guys, and um, it's good for our guys to be pushed at that level. The first game will be October 27th in Texas Hall. Stay tuned to UTA News. Entertainment Connection is coming up next.